Hi people, this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. Tonight I'm gonna show you guys how to work with the tutorial number seven in the UDK Unreal Engine Development Kit. Today in this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to add water and sound for that water. And maybe I can add some uh, wind sound to the map. Now first of all I'm gonna create a new map. So I wanna start this with uh, from scratch. I'm gonna create a new terrain here. Um, there we have our terrain. Now I'm going to edit my terrain. I'm going to edit the terrain. I'm going to add foliage to it. For now, let's toggle the wireframe. Let's increase the tessellation twice so we can have high resolution. And now let's play around with a map. So from here, I'm going to lower this a little bit so we can get the water in the middle. we go so now we need to add uh, textures material to that terrain so for that I'm gonna choose uh, grass foliage grass foliage grass foliage let me see what I can find here um, so from here we have this texture so select the texture on the counter browser the material right click on the unreal terrain edit and choose new terrain instead of layer material auto create so for that he will add the material automatically to the terrain so let me toggle off the wireframe so there we go now we have our material added to the terrain here so let me pull up this a little bit because I think it's too low Yes, it is. There we go. So now I'm going to add water to this. And for that, we need to add a fluid surface actor. For that, go to your console browser, go to the tab of actor classes, find fluids. Here we go. Now select fluid surface actor. And on your map, on your terrain, uh, right click where you're going to add the. Uh, the fluid, the water, and click on add fluid surface actor here. So we need to pull this up. There we go. And now we need to scale it so we can bigger. There we go. Looking nice. So I'm gonna play a little bit here with the terrain. There we go. So now it's looking way much better. So now I'm gonna close these properties here and now we need to work with the surface with the fluid surface actor here and we need to go to the property so we can add the material right click on the surface actor click on fluid surface actor properties and from here you will have the different properties that you can play around for the water I recommend that you play around with these properties so you can see the different animations and the different results that you can get from the surface actor for now I'm just gonna add the material here I'm not gonna be working with the properties I'm not gonna be fooling around here so we need to go to our content browser and choose a water material so for that just type water choose UDK game folder and just find around the, the material so right here we have one that is liquid blue water <coughs> Remember to choose only the the the, uh, the materials that has the green line around the box. Now select that material, and from here on the surface properties, just uh, click on the green arrow that ha that says you select the object in the content browser. So it will use the material that you have selected here on your content browser. Click on that green arrow, and he will add the water, as you can see. So now we have water added to the train so what's next what do we have to do next right here I want to add some foliage so I'm gonna be adding a couple of grass here trees and stuff like that for now foliage first so we can get the grass and the trees and other stuff uh, okay so we need um, we have the tree here we have this one here, this one. 
We have a medium tree. I still don't know why it doesn't want to pull it pull it here. Okay, so he doesn't want to do it. So now we need to find uh grass. So let's find grass. Well we have one here, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so we have four uh objects here on the foolish editor so I'm gonna add only this one this one and this one just gonna hold my control key and I'm gonna use my mouse my left bottom mouse to start adding the foolish that I have selected for my map okay so now I want to add the tree so I'm gonna add only one tree so I'm gonna choose the tree I'm gonna put 10 here so it can only add one and I'm gonna put it right here where you go so far say here there we go now I know it looks kinda ugly because we haven't built the light map and for that we need to create a light point first of all so right click on the middle of the map, choose add actor at light point. And I pull this up. If you see that it has lag, it's not a lag, is that I'm recording my tutorials at only seven frames per second. And seven uh seven frames per second sucks. Everybody knows that. Looks like a zombie map. Ooh. Okay, so now, just fooling around. So now, uh, we got the light point. We need to add the play start. So I'm going to add it uh, maybe here. Add actor, add light point. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to choose. I'm going to. Okay, where the heck are you? There we go. So now I'm going to press the N key so it goes to the ground. There we go. It's in the terrain right now. And now we need to add... What was... Okay, the sound. We need to add the sound now. Um, let me pause this here just for a second. Because I'm, I'm going to find the sound. And as soon as I get the sound, I will continue. Be right back. Okay, so I have found the sounds. And I have found the sounds just inserting water on the search on the content browser. I just um, chose the Mono Water 02. So now just select the sound that you want to add. You can add your own sounds. You can import your sounds. You need to create a package for that. And remember always to use uh, WAV files. The extensions of your sounds or music, whatever you add, has to be .wav. That's WAV file. Now, after you have adding, you have selected the sound, your WAV file on your console browser, just right click where you want to add the sound around the map. And let's, uh, let's make a simple sound here so it could continue the loop and it can repeat itself every time it finishes. So add Avian Sound Simple and the name of your WAV file, your sound file. So I'm going to pull this up. There we go. I'm gonna put it close to the player start. Just oh, uh, you have you need to add a couple of sounds if you increase the volume here, or you don't play with the properties for the sound. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it like this, and I'm gonna build the lightning. So now it's building the lightning, so we can start working in the game, a playing or testing, whatever you wanna call it exporting the scene running lights ma light mass okay come on build up really quick really quick I got a lot of people waiting watching this video here build process sucks I'm gonna pause this guys for a second until it finishes and I'll be back okay so it has finished building the lightning so now I'm gonna choose the war properties here I'm gonna put UT that match and UT that match so we can start like a first person shooter game. And now let's hit the play button so we can see the results of what we have done here.
couldn't spawn player cannot find start starting spot starting spot where is the player start I just put one player start here there you go heck are you doing there oh my bad I put a light here it was supposed to be a player start so here we go again I'm gonna put it right here add player start so now we need to add you somewhere else that cannot be right there because you will be in the water so I need to put you here where are you at and so you can go to the ground and now hit the player start and we need to rebuild the lightning again my bad guys be right back and now that it has built the lightning once again because i eliminate i deleted that light and uh, because i thought it was a uh, play start i had to add the play store i deleted that light point and had to build up the lightning again uh now we're good to go so let's play this path need to be rebuilt forget about that man um, so as you can see, you can hear the water, and you can also see the water moving around. Oh my god, I almost died myself there. So, it's pretty nice, pretty neat. What you can do in uh in the UDK. You just need to work around with the properties like I told you guys. Uh nothing. I'll be making more tutorials like always for the UDK. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Remember to hit the like button. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And remember to comment. I'll be here to help you guys in anything that you want. Uh, nice grass. Bye.